Mm -hmm. Is this okay? Uh, yeah, thank you. So you can slather my hair full of snail chews, have it act like a cloud, and then have it try to kill me, could you? Uh, no, but this adventure sure can. Welcome back to Swiss Arbucci Reviews. I'm Luke. And I'm Babs. So, to get us situated and understand what's happening in the one shot, why don't you explain the backstory of the one shot to us, Luke? You see, there was this barber. Barbers, by the way, also the dentistry, surgery, and blood lighting. Things that totally make sense to keep in a fantasy environment. Leeches still need to go soggy soggy. After all, this barber really liked making haircuts. So, for that, he bought a special face nail, a flail snail to make hair dyes with. For that, he needed money for moneylenders. Fame moneylenders, darklings. There was, of course, also Kore that came by, who this barber, Yoke, cut hair from. Now, this barber, who has a daughter, made a friend with this Kore, Besoar, who came by often for his hair to be cut. But the hair of this Kore could be made into art objects that Yoke sold on the side, because if you cut a Kore's hair, it becomes the material you cut it with. You with me so far? Mm. Good, so, Yoke is bad with money. So the moneylenders caught up with him, but he didn't got the money. So there was this hag, disguised, disguised herself as a big, beautiful sword to control a colony. And you see, she knew that Bear's hair was even more special. If someone tears it, it becomes a duplicate of whoever tore it. So she bought the depth the oak had and took control of him to capture the Korid. Now if the Korid caught, she used him to make more swords. She of course also has this evil comb that makes her control hair, she brushes with it. Now she created two versions of yoke, an evil and a non-evil one to run the barbershop, and now they abduct people in the night to feed the hag's ritual. You got all that? Uh -huh. Good. And with all that, now people are disappearing and it's up to adventurers to stop them. Most of the monsters in here are brought to you by Volos, which is pretty cool, apart from the lore of them not really matching up at all, like a flail snail just being held by a commoner, how he feeds it, how its glass secretion is used for hair dye, Korit don't really travel on their own either. There's now just a group of darkling moneylenders hanging out in a material plane and all of this just casually happening on the side in one town. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Mm. This one shot should be taken fairly lighthearted though. It tries to be fun and a crazy adventure filled with wacky fun times. No, no fun allowed, only lore. The adventure is rich. So rich. With high fantasy concepts and filled. So filled with lots of fun details. I cannot stress enough just how many cool ideas, flavorful items and incredible imagination is in this one shot. The beginning of the one shot has the players come to Silver Moon and hear rumors of people disappearing and some come back with super stylish and magical haircuts. Apart from the name of the one shot and this detail making it beyond obvious that a barber, the barber, is responsible for this, the party still has to do some investigation to end up at the barber shop. Except one small problem. Yeah, the adventure doesn't support this investigation. There are only a few short paragraphs about this, something that could easily take an hour or two depending on the players, is barely described here. Same for the town itself. No read aloud texts or other points of interest. A further problem with this is that unless the party comes at night, they have a roadblock of a DC-21 plus DC-23 that completely shuts down the adventurers. The adventurers cannot continue from that point, unless they have a small creature to climb down a well where they only encounter leeches in the water. The adventure mentions a swarm of insects here that should be in Volos, but there is no such thing in that book, so small oversight. I'm not a fan of the entire investigation part since it adds nothing but improv on the DM's part and roadblocks for the players. Maybe just have someone start the adventure with sending them at the, to the barber at night. There's also a problem with the barber's daughter which is useful information and is taken a plot. But because she sits in her room upstairs, it's very unlikely that players will ever meet her unless the DM goes out of their way to pour into the story or the players just do a full break-in. Yeah, but then as soon as the players find out what's uh, going on, they get dragged into the cellar and if one of them decides to get his hair done or a shave, you're up for a wild ride. You should try to convince one of the players to do so. Whatever they decide, next up is a fight against the first Xwarts, leading down into the Barbershop of Evil. This one is the most interesting rooms in the entire dungeon, offering all kinds of curiosities for the players to investigate after the fight. Evil Yoke is, if Evil Yoke is allowed to work on a victim, 
the adventure provides a d20 random table for hairstyles and the first opportunity to give your players some semi-permanent effects. Read this section carefully, otherwise you will miss on the cool and strange tools. Your players will find all kinds of oils, wigs, entire heads, drills, dyes and whatnot. All of them with a description and some stats. What was missing in the investigation part until now went into this particular set of rooms. A warning should be given to our players before you run this, that this adventure can have long-lasting and terrible effects on PCs, and as such should be treated very carefully if played as part of a campaign or with long-form characters. Yeah. Next section then are the caverns that are filled with thick cords of hair and more Xwarts, like really all of the Xwarts. So many dang swords. The rooms and sections are described with enough detail to work with and have an interesting layout. The group needs to fight their way through though, since they could run into more Xwarts all of the time. The reward is some long due answers. Depending if you are, with, uh, are okay with playing another session or not, you should let the players fool around with the prismatic coloring machine. That's the last piece of Evil Barber tools. Again, read carefully, the effects are permanent and possibly dangerous. When your group is done with that, found the other NPCs and explored the caverns, it is time for the final fight against the evil mastermind behind all this. An Ennis hack in disguise, guarded by 45 Xwarts and 2 Xwart Warlocks. The hack of course uses a big evil comp as a weapon, so that you never forget what kind of adventure you're playing here. The adventure does not provide you with a peaceful option, and so you either fight or leave. Since resources are probably drained of it, the fight could be very challenging, but Naruk the Sorcerer solved it with a fireball, the best solution of course. The loot presented after the fight then is a big stack of coins, some potions, spell scrolls and a spellbook. Adjust accordingly if this is a campaign. There are some conclusions mentioned then that you can present to the players in order to run it up and with that the adventure ends. Overall it's a goofy but fun adventure with a lot of flavor. Some minor oversights in writing can be overlooked. And if you want to present something extraordinary to your players while still stick to classic D&D elements, this adventure is for you. The story is a bit nonsensical, has a few holes in it, possibly maybe has a few too many ideas, if that's possible, and it's missing nice read aloud texts. The adventure is also a bit long for a one shot, the dungeon is fairly large, with lots of unique items to discover and NPCs to meet. That with the investigation part at the beginning, can lead this adventure to easily run two sessions if the players don't hurry up and do a speed run. Right, but I think you should allow the players to explore and interact with the evil barber shop to get the most out of this. We say that the Barber of Silvery Moon is a solid 16, so go get it and have some fun. I hope you liked this review and as always like, share, comment and subscribe and check out our Discord. Until next time, goodbye! goodbye.